Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we are Ross, Laura, Joshua, and Noah. And on a normal day, we're sailing around the Greek islands, documenting our travels along the way. Leave us a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. You know how it's really still right now? Yeah. The water's super calm and there's no wind in the air. Yeah. Do you know what that is? Well, the calm before the storm. We do have quite a sizable storm coming today and it's due to last for about three days, I think. Even small whisperings that it could develop into a medicate. <laughs> So, needless to say, Ross has been going round and round in circles, checking Windy every two minutes and debating where we go. We've got a bunch of friends in this anchorage and in the one next to us, and they're all bolting to Fleho Bay, which is renowned for having fantastic holding and is a very good place to go in storms. However, I noticed yesterday that loads of liverboards long time salty sea dogs are all rocking up and lining up against the side of this bay that seems to avoid all the weather so i'm thinking why did we spend this summer upgrading so that we've got a water maker we've got three anchors out a ton of super b lifepo 4 lithium ion batteries and we also have a generator a really good generator heaps of solar and that's why we did this isn't it we wanted to be off grid and we wanted to be able to brave all weathers so i think we might just stay i think we should go over there you mean move spots bunny what do you think he's smelling the air for an answer the answer's already here a new place a new home for a while let me feel Cheers, Noah. Cheers. We just happened to have a conversation with one of the liverboards on the boats that are here for a long time. And he's been here three years, sat through the Medicaine in this bay, and he said it's absolutely bomb-proof because it's very low. There are no mountains on Meganissi, so the wind just goes over the top and I think we're all feeling a little bit more confident about sticking around having spoken to him. Thank you Norbert for your advice. It was lovely to meet you and your cat. We're out. We've come for a walk in between all the rain and we thought we'd talk to you about Ross's favourite subject, other than beer, <laughs> and that is our power setup. We gotta do no for re. <laughs> yeah, bring it on, we got lithium, baby. Can make some space. Oh my God, there is no space. How heavy are they? Not that heavy. No? About your weight. About my weight, what each? Seriously? You're just saying that. You can never have enough power. And in order to fully live off grid, it's like one of the most important things to really consider. We've been four years now mm. and have been struggling every year. I mean, we've started to introduce solar, AGM batteries, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but um, last, it was early last year, we decided to approach Super B, who make marine grade LiPo4 batteries. And if you don't know, marine grade is a very difficult standard of battery to actually reach the specifications for. We told them our requirements, the space we had available. 88 kilos. Bend of the knees. Watch the toes. You just put it on my yoga mat. <laughs> and we, we talked to them for about two hours about the whole kind of system that we're trying to install. Throughout the process and throughout our conversations, we actually became ambassadors for them, which is pretty cool. Yeah. They actually advised that we only needed six nomadas. 
I talked them up to eight and I'm glad we did that because on days like today where it's really stormy and cloudy, it just gives us extra time and capacity to run everything we're running, right? Yeah, I think when you live on a boat and you really live, work, school, all those things, anything you can do to reduce the amount you have to think about other things improves your actual enjoyment of the experience of living on a boat. So we love sailing, we love the lifestyle, but we want to try and make it as sustainable, as enjoyable and as affordable as possible. So having these batteries has allowed us to not have to go to ports, not have to plug in anywhere and spend money on electric. It also means we use less gas and just so many other things that are massive benefits. I mean, for me, I don't have to think or ask Ross every time I want to turn on an appliance or do something electrical. And also I'm a bit funny about gas on board. I don't know why. I just am and I like the fact that we don't have to buy more gas or even keep very much on board. We finally finished the install of the Super B Nomada batteries. We've got eight of them in parallel and we decided to go for the full 12 volt system. What I love about these batteries is they're modular so to try and fit other batteries in this space was almost impossible. So when we were in talks with Super B, I really wanted these Nomadas because they're only 90 mil wide, about 500 mil long, and you can see you just drop them in, move them across, drop them in, move them across. And they come with really easy to use brackets down below. And then under here, look, under these covers, these are actually where the terminals are and where they are joined in parallel. So there's no wires, just simple aluminium strips bolted together. This adds more structure and strength to the whole system. And then you've got these cool little things here that keep all the terminals safe. So at first glance, you might think these are the wire terminals and that they're small, but they're actually the communication wires. So this is all communication to the BIP. Don't know what it stands for, <laughs> but it's the like interface box that communicates with all the software and it shows you all the parameters. You can see here the battery capacity and the state of charge, all stuff like that. But then you've also got the parameters that kind of come as standard at the minute. This is a big one. We've got it so that it switches off at 10% so the batteries don't go to zero. I might up that to 20, but I'm gonna to speak to Super B first but you can literally control everything on here. So I will be having a talk with uh, Super B technical department and just make sure all that's okay. But um, at the minute, I'm really happy. It's all gone very smoothly. <laughs> it's no good having all that capacity without the ability to be able to recharge your batteries. We chose Boja V for their Yuma 200 watt SIG panels. We got a shed load of cyber. <laughs> The These panels are awesome and we were able to fit them on our whole Bimini area and also our spray hood. They are super thin at only one and a half millimeters and very light weighing only 2.9 kilos. They're super flexible and yet surprisingly tough and durable. However, what makes these panels perfect for a boat is the fact they have 48 bypass diodes. This means if you have small shaded areas on the panel, the remaining areas will still produce power. This is not the case for traditional panels. As you know, the winds in Greece can be quite strong. So we reinforced the Bimini frame with some removable 25 mil Enox tube. This has made a semi-permanent installation that keeps the panels and the Bimini nice and flat. By utilizing this area and going with Bose RV Solar, we are now getting an additional five kilowatts of power each day. If you are looking for power solutions for your boat or would like any more information, please head over to the description where you can find all the useful links. Okay guys, I can hear thunder. So I think we need to get back to the boat and band down the hatches because we do have a sizable thunderstorm coming our way. So, I guess we'll see you back in the boat. Josh is about to start his last lesson of his very first secondary school day. And it's art. 
We've got you all set up, haven't we? Yeah. So I'm just going to be editing over here. Josh and Noah are both going to have a little go at the art because Noah loves an art anyway, but it's obviously Josh's class. Noah's been not tying in school lessons today. What sort of knot is this then, Noah? Bowline on a bite. Very cool. <laughs> you silly cat. I'm gonna go and wash decks because it never gets done, so I might as well do it now. It's a Sunday job, so I thought I'd go on my Sunday. Sorry, gosh. <laughs> Honestly, though, that's one good thing about storms in the mat. They're warm. <laughs> oh, you may. Sweet. I really do not want to get trapped on my and I'm holding a metal friggin' pole. Oh, oh my god, you just missed it on the background. Seriously. That's mainland though. Well, you did ask for the boat to get a rinse. Definitely get a map. We just uh, trying to not freak out. I haven't been afraid for a very long time this way, so I guess it's about time something scared me. Yeah. No! We'll be fine, come in. Don't take it out of the bedroom. No, not if it's captured your bedroom. And our ears will be dead, please. Yeah. Do you want to go in with them as well? All my stuff, all my stuff is in here. Yeah, all your stuff is fine. I don't want anything in there, I'm going to go on. Let's go in there. It's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> I don't know what happens when we get stuck. Oh, um, hopefully, hopefully, the lightning bolt goes straight down the mast. Straight down the wire that goes to the keel, and you can sit. Okay? So nothing's gonna happen? Not in the bedrooms, no. Fine. What are the rooms? Just don't touch anything metal, like the the um, standing rig and stays, which are exposed. Shall I show you where they are? So look, next to the guitar, you've got the metal pole there, yeah? 
that's connected to the mast. So we don't want to touch that one. Or that one there next to the coffee machine. In fact, Daddy might just move the coffee machine just in case. There we go. All right. Everything else is fine. So every so inside that is the mast, yeah. And that will get hot when it gets struck by that much electricity. Is that gonna burn? Might do, but we've got a fire extinguisher. Okay. It's gonna burn so hard to bring fire. Points to the bell fire. Look at the rain. We'll just open that window. <laughs> we'll just open that window. Yeah? Do fine. Do you want to go in our room? Is that where the safe is? Well, your room's just as safe. Yeah. You've got more things in your room. So that's why we've told you to go in your room because it's the safest place to be. Be on the map. Or oh, come in with Noah and come and hang out with him. Why didn't you go on your switches or something? Just we'll, we'll stick today down as attempted. Why? I don't put them on electrical stuff for us. I don't want them touching They're anything. They're fine on battery stuff. Can you make sure Ronnie's safe, please? Ronnie, I think, is under the table, which is quite sensible, actually. Where's Smidge? Oh, my God. Noah, Smidge is behind you. Just missed the lighting. But you can hear that, right? That just, oh, it's crazy, my heart is racing. This boat, I think their anchor's dragged. It's vertical and their lines are completely slack. No one, pay attention, their lines are slack anchor, vertical. No one is looking at their lines. Well, we just had one hell of a school then. I think we're okay. That's because I put a ton of chain up. So that's our chain. Vertical, vertical, vertical. That's just pulled out everyone's anchors. I'm telling you now, four boats anchors have all just dragged. That squall just popped them all. So I'm going to get in the boat. Ross, please don't. Don't. I'm going to have to, because like, if we get another school, they're going to be beached. Yeah, but you can't be out there in this. Oh, I don't mind. So these guys over here have realised that their anchor dragged and they have quite rightly moved. They're off. Oh, yellow stuff in the water. That's mud. Oh, okay. From the... Where's Dad? He's out there. Emptying out the dinghy. Using the pump. Oh. Another boat going. These guys are lifting their anchor. I think everyone's just freaking out a little bit in this bay because of what just happened with the squall. Ross has actually gone out helping people now because I think everyone's having a bit of a freak out at the moment. Not really sure what to do because no one wants to go out on deck. Alright. What time is it? 25 past 5. Yeah. 25 Business as usual. Storm is over. Yay! <laughs> Do you think it's quite good? I always think it's quite good how when you have a storm in the Ionian, it passes almost as quickly as it comes. Yeah, that is cool. It's normally only for a couple of days and then the sun's back out again. Ross has been fishing out beer bottles from the sea. Right, we got a wake coming and it's breakfast time and I'm hungry, so let's go. See you in the next one! Bye. Move! Let's leave the past 
behind Walk with me There's something else we need to find Say you go Don't make me wait There's no need